Okay, this is the second time I've made this video. The last time I seem to have somehow run out of disk space on my computer and I got mad. But this uh, uh, video is going to be to see how we can compute P90s and P75s and all that. And I want to show you just how easy it is with one single Excel function that's called the norm INV, the inverse of the normal distribution. Okay, and here's the data we have, and this is this data is uh, uh, data that's provided. They call it test data on the solar GIS. Now, in another video, perhaps the very next video. I'll show you how to download similar data. Now I can find this kind of hourly data like this, this hourly data that goes uh, by year. That's what you really want to really get a detailed uh, uh, P50, P90, blah, blah, blah. That's what we, uh, uh, um, that's, that's what we want. Okay. And, uh, what we'll do is uh, first we've got to just uh, clean up the data a little bit. Now here's the, they have the detailed data, the annual sums, the uh, monthly sums, and then they have a P50, and this is important. They have a P90, and their P90 changes by day. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll graph some data out. This will be a little bit about data analysis. And the first thing let's do is just go to data and then go to text to columns. Now, when you do this, if you notice this, the date has day, month, year. So we can delimit this with a um, semicolon. But then when we go to the next one to do this, let's make sure instead of month, day, year, it says day, month, year. That's the way. If you ever read things in and you want to uh, uh, fix it, okay, that's that'll put that, uh, years in, and then you can press Shift Control Three, of course, not of course. If you haven't seen some of the other videos, you might not know that. And then we can press Shift Spacebar, and after you press Shift Spacebar, Shift Alternate Right Arrow. If you want to press the number one. Then we've got this uh, data, okay? And we've got it by year, day, and everything else. So we can do the same thing here and go to text to columns and go to next and finish. Now I'm going to do this for the uh, next couple of uh, files and I'm not going to. Okay, so uh, in this one we have the uh, annual uh, sums. And in this one, we have the uh, uh, sum by month and uh, year. And in this one, we have the day. And for each day, we get the uh, P50. Let me see. For each day, we get the P50. Uh, by hour so and then this so we go and to do to do this one we're gonna have to get the days a day counter uh, it looks like uh, okay we don't have 366 days that's what I was looking for so let's let's do some kind of basic things first okay um, why don't we insert a column and put the year? And then if you put equal year and go over to this one and then press shift control and the little, um, uh, the little uh, uh, approximate sign, then we can go over here and we can kind of do a sum and just do sum if now you can do sum if or sum if s 
So if we do sum it, if we press the sum if, click on the entire column, that's the key. No F4s, zero F4s, zero, zero, zero F4s. This is the criteria. And then you go back and we'll just get the global horizontal irradiation. Looks like I put a minus a sign in front of that. Okay, and don't worry, that's a big number. That's the sum in watts. Now, if we want to get it by day, we better just take this and divide it by 365. And then it gives us the uh, daily watts. And then we can get the daily kilowatts by dividing it by 1,000. Oops. So that's ah, one way to sum the data. Come on. And then it looks like I'm stuck. Shit. Okay, I don't know what happened just now. I have no idea. I should know. But then you can see we get the, just about the same numbers if they're not exactly the same. Okay, so that's our uh, that's our first kind of check. So this didn't really do much. Now the interesting thing about this is, you know, if you're in a financial model, you're worried about the, the way, one way to compute the P90, I think a very reasonable way, would be, let's just take this and press alternate F1 to get a quick graph of this. You can see kind of how it goes up and down, you know, if it, to get a good look at it, we should put the uh, minimum access. What? I have no idea. Why did that go like that? Okay. And then you can kind of see that there's really not so much variation from year to year. And that's if we skip ahead and look at the variation in wind or in hydro, you'd find a whole lot more uh, variation on an annual basis. That's the key variation. Of course, there's going to be variation over the course of a day or an hour, you know. So let's put this one. And the, here's the way we, we work with the statistics, OK? And I suppose we can do them for all of this. If we want to compute the probabilities in the P90s and all this, they're all ta always taken from a normal distribution. A normal distribution, we better get the average and then the standard deviation. Okay, and once we have those, well, let's get that. How about average? Shift control up, I guess that would do it. Shift, uh, shift right arrow. How about I'm going to practice this? F2, control enter. Didn't work. Maybe I have to press. No, I can't do that. Am I still recording? Uh, shit, what a waste of time. Uh, let's go to formulas. What kind of calculations options? Hmm. Well, so that didn't work. I wonder when that works. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Average. See, I, I, well, how about this? As a, I think you should go and try these things. My friend Felipe from Brazil, control R. There we go. And the standard deviation, STDV. I'm going to use the old one so I don't have to worry about this population sample business. Shift control, whoops. Shift right arrow, control R. You know, if you had the other one, my other file open. And then we can go ST, standard deviation to average. And I, these all should be fairly low. If we look wind and some of the other data, we'll get a higher uh, higher variation. Uh, okay, so we, we go to home and increase the format. And then, so we're 
two percent for this it's interesting we get a little bit higher variation from some of the others now if you put average minus standard deviation we're going to prove to you this simple thing uh, this this thing that the standard there's 68 percent chance of getting plus one and minus one 68 percent chance of getting in between when you take one and minus one so you just take the uh average minus the standard deviation and then let's take the average plus the standard deviation um, okay there's our range and then we now if if oops we have our graph coming up shift spacebar shift control plus you can insert however you feel like it this should be out of here shouldn't it okay and then if we want uh, a probability uh, low and a probability high all you do is you can put equal nor and no, nor normal distribution like this the x here that's the low then you go to the mean and then you go to the standard deviation and then we put one for so the chances of getting five or less are 15 percent now the chances of getting 5.2 or less which is norm distribution if we say this or less again we put the mean the standard deviation and then you type a one okay and you have the range and you know shift control five shift control alt h zero alt h zero stupid thing that is okay and then the uh, total so the total probability of being inside it is this minus that and that's your famous 68 percent 68.27 okay now um if we would want to get a uh I'm, I'm gonna have to insert a line so if we want now a, a p99 we need one percent that's a one percent a p95 uh, is five percent ten percent seventy five percent seventy five percent twenty five percent and 50 percent and then we could put p99 here p95 uh oh what happened here oh no shit. oh get me out of here p95 p90 p75 p 50. That last thing was a little bit embarrassing. Now you just put N O R M I N V like this, not S I N V, just just N I N V, and it asks for the probability of step four a few times there, and then it asks for the mean. We don't need to. Yes, we need to lock that in, and it asks for the standard deviation and lock that in. So this says, okay, if we want the P90, we can go down to this one. And of course, well, I say of course, but the, I didn't know that first. The P50 is just the average. There's a 50% chance of getting above it or below it. And the normal distribution doesn't have any skewness or anything else. So if we want to be 99% sure, we go down here, 95, blah, blah, blah. That's if we just use uh, annual data. Now, they also put over here the, uh, the, the monthly um, huh, the monthly uh, averages, and they did the monthly averages 
by a year, you know, I, I, I don't really know what this proves so much. Um, we can, why don't we just graph one of them? Did it start with month one? Okay. And what happens if you press now control? Press the next one. And you press Alt F1. Didn't work. It just graphed them together. Okay. Thought maybe it. Let's see. It's pretty bad. So let's just graph this. Uh, Alt F1. Okay, that's the kind of highest amount in June, it looks like. Which makes sense. June 21st is the day with the longest uh, amount of sunlight. Okay. Now, uh, if we if we wanted to get this by month and day, what we would have to do is insert two uh, lines here. And we first put month. Now you could also do this with a pivot table, and we're going to use a pivot table just in a minute. And then let's put month and year. Okay. So the first thing we could do over here is do the same thing. Shift control, shift, uh, control space bar to get that. And then just take this one and and then add this, okay. And then we've got our month and year, and we do the same thing. We put the month, and we just do that, and then we put the. Uh, 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 I hope I put the year and the space and the month. Did I do it the other way? It better be the same way because we're going to use the sum if. Let's make sure we didn't go too far anywhere. Okay. And year and then month. Okay. So we have it. And all you do here is, again, I'm acting like this is easy. Uh, some, you know, I shouldn't act like it took me a long time to get this. Let's use sum if s this. It just goes a little bit different. You start with the uh, sum range. So this time we start with uh, the global. And remember the same rule. This is the biggest rule. And then you put the, the range and then you uh, put the criteria in finally. That we, okay, and now here's the hard part of this. We need to know how many days are in each month. So this is 31, ooh, 28.25, 31, 30, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to turn this off while I do that because I might get it wrong, okay? Okay, I put the days in. So if we want to get the daily radiation, we take this divided by the days, and we get this. So this is in watts. It's really in watts per meter squared, but whatever. And on, then we'll put uh, kWh. And just take this one and divide it by 1,000. Okay. And... Uh, then we have, uh, hopefully, shift control down, right? Shift control one, so 2.96. It's a little bit different. God knows why. Okay. I don't know why, but okay. So that's that one. Not so interesting, really. And now, you know, if, if what they did here is get the P50. They got the P50 by day. So for January 1st, they took the January 1st, they took the month and the hour and the day, the day of the month. 
and they must have got the P50 here and then they got the uh, uh, P90 here and, and why don't we just uh, analyze this a little bit before we work through it it's a little bit warm I'm gonna have to s switch the video off and see if I can open the window just a minute I want to turn the air conditioner on okay and uh oh come on okay so this remember shift uh, what what shift space bar shift alternate right arrow number one so you know let, let's just take this one copy this to the I, I'm sure there was a much more elegant way to do this but this is p50 and this is uh, a p90 and we could also take uh, p50 p90 divided by uh, p50 to see and the problem is of course we're going to have to get rid of the divide by zero so if the denominator k51 that's that's what i use to uh fix the divide by zero i just look for the denominator and it's because of the true fault somehow it does that you know this looks really funny we have a 16 the p90 is 81 percent uh, rather and then you know the p90 here is larger and then we have zero did i did i not put it in the right order or something no then you've got oh this one 60 percent this is kind of bizarre and um, you know we could also just uh, take the average of all of them okay um, we get this one is a surprising hmm, surprising difference over the course of the year well how about this let's let's uh, sum I, I'm I'm not believing any of this, obviously. Here's the sum of the P50, and let's get the sum of the uh, come on the uh, P90, and then this divided by this. This is about uh, four percent. So this is this makes some a little more sense, but that's larger. Uh, then when we averaged averaged it over the course of the whole year that's kind of interesting no no it might not be that's p50 we got about a four percent difference let's just see what happened when we did this way this way remember uh, but this, let's take p50 p90 divided by p50 to see how much less we have so I'll take this divided by this. Huh. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. So it's it's actually a little bit different. Hmm. Well, let's compute it anyway. Okay, that's uh, worth worth looking at. So what we need to do here, and I might have to pause just for a minute because. I'm not very good at this whole pivot table business, but we'll, I think we'll make a pivot table and we want to arrange the data. So we get this data, we get it, the average of the, we get the average across the years, but we need year by year by year by year for day one, hour one, but we don't care about the years. So uh, let's, we need to, to, 
make some I, I I think we take the month we need the day of the month so so why don't we uh, put a day of the month okay and I think we can just put equal day here okay and we so we we take the uh, month the day let's let's do this let's so the uh, now shush. how many how many just a minute I, I'm sorry for the pause if if we look at this we had three we had eight thousand seven hundred and sixty basically I think hopefully this was the same thing okay I assume that the others are the ones that are just above so so basically we're going to take each hour of the year but but not sum it across the hours so we have the day of the month I'm going to put the month uh, text now this is because I've, I've got it in English not in French but if, if you take text it's kind of a nifty little thing to take this and then put in double inverted commas the MMMM or this will be too long so how about we just uh, oh no I don't want this three three M's okay you can do the same thing with D's and that's even more helpful because you can get the day of the week and all that so that's our text uh, uh, that's our we, we and then we have the hour okay I let's just make a a, a a a pivot table now okay so I'm selecting the whole area and then I'll go to insert and insert a pivot table that's bad okay now on the columns we just want the year and in the values let's get this that's the easy part okay but on the rows we want the month let's let's do it by let's do it by the let's put the time first then we'll put the uh, month uh, well, let's put the time and let's do it the European not the American way let's put the, the month the day next the day of the month and then the year not the year the, uh, the excuse me the time and then the month text okay that theoretically should work okay well my month text didn't go in there okay I would rather move this down does that work okay and we have no um, excuse me the order did matter didn't it so uh excuse me what we do need let's just look at this excuse me for this uh, uh we need uh we need really the to get the day first and then the time last so we're gonna need the uh month first i think this should work and then when, where's the time no the time is the last one okay so this is january day one and uh we have all of these and you can tell me how to uh i'm sure there's a way not to show this whoops I didn't want to do that okay uh, I, it doesn't matter that we have that there does it so it's really it's all of this is the 
is is a thing and then we take the standard deviation and do our our little analysis across this <sighs> and choose just a minute how about this can i turn it off so i'm sure you can do this okay <sighs> Somebody can send me a. Uh, I'm going to make a. a um, my son tells me to make this thing called a like a group, some kind of group in LinkedIn, where you can comment and tell me what I'm doing wrong on my videos and all that. So uh, let's just go here and get the average, and then we get the standard deviation. How can I do this? Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end the video soon. You'll, you'll see. So if we if we want the average, the standard deviation, and then we can put uh, divided by the average, and then we can also get the, uh, the 99, the 95, the 90, the 75, and the 50, which is the average. Okay, and we put equal average. Uh, and don't include the grand total. And uh, then put equal STDV. And that should maybe, oh, it just gives you it now. How about we'll do another if this, uh, then we take the standard deviation divided by the average. Okay, and then we can put, <sighs> I assume this won't work. How about we'll make it if this is true. Then we'll take NORM I and B, and we uh, first put the probability, press this, just F4 to that one, and then we put the uh, mean. And since we're going to go across, we better press this, and then we press the standard deviation. Oh, and then we have to, uh, whoops, probable, I suppose it wants, uh, what? Okay, and on uh, I and V, we've got the probability, oh shit, what did I do wrong? I have no idea why that required the uh, uh, thing there. Okay, whoops, and then we can, uh, I suppose, whoops, one, two, three, is that about how many? Uh, what happened here? Why do we have, okay. What did I do here? I said, uh, of course, I did it wrong. I took the, uh, if that, then uh, the mean and the standard deviation is here. And I better press the F4 key here. Control R. Control D. Okay, so. Oh, look, we got a negative sunlight in here. I don't think this hourly thing was very useful. And then we. Can I delete this? I don't think I can delete this line, right? You can't delete a line in a pivot table. Okay, but that shows you, I suppose, how, how to do it. And the big uh, issue here, I'm not going to 
transpose this or get it over uh, anything else. So whoops, uh, let's do one more. You know, I, I could uh, compute the, the P90 divided by the P50 or something like that. But we get very wide distributions within an hour. But those distributions seem to go away if we do it over the course of the year. So I'm not sure how useful it really is uh, to, to do all of this. So I'm going to stop this, and we'll call this uh, P90, P99, etc. analysis. Okay, and uh, I'm stopping the video now because I'm kind of sick of this.